Good evening, good afternoon, rather. Good afternoon, gamers. Hope you're doing well. We're going in for more Dark Souls 3. Had a good time playing this yesterday. We're going in for a little bit more. We're going in for a little bit more here. We defeated, I don't know, I want to say we're on like six or seven bosses in. I know we've taken out Abyss Watchers, Vorts of the Boreal Valley. Obviously, it's how we got this great hammer. Uh, we took out... Gundir, we took out Crystal Sage, um, I don't know who else, I can't remember who, I can't remember who, but I will say, and I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but so far, I feel like the bosses in this game are pretty weak, um, granted, that, that, that's not to say that I, I, I'm not the best player in the world, but compared to Elden Ring, the bosses in this game seem to have way less health. Way less health. I watched back my kill of Abyss Watchers, for example, yesterday, and I killed him extremely fast. I don't know if it has something to do with this hammer. Maybe, because obviously the frostbite effect. And it does hit hard in general because it is a giant hammer, right? Um, but I just feel like the bosses in this game so far are pretty damn weak. I... I so far, I mean, obviously, I know bosses later on do get tougher, but I guess we'll see how they are when we get there. I guess we'll see. Um, Right, we did get to the Cleansing Chapel, and we have Catacombs of Karthus. I think that we go do the Chapel first, before Catacombs of Karthus. Even though we did get started on Karthus, I think we go to the Chapel and go from there. To get started for the day. What's up, Elgernon? Hey, Richard. Hey, Elbarge. Elbarge. What's up, Caesar? Hey, Screamer. Redloaf. AV. Mesmer. Aiden. Damien. Vin B. Pebbleson. Hello. Played this after Elden Ring. I saw a spike in difficulty slightly. This one became my favorite after Bloodborne. Nice, dude. You saw you. So you found this more difficult than Elden Ring. Okay. So far, I'm finding it easier myself. But we'll see how this evolves going forward. Hey, Suzanne. We'll see how it evolves. I, that's just my experience so far. Maybe this will change today. What's up, Cole? Hey, Snowboards. Hey, John. Your big bonk free stick is slaying. Bring on Midir. Yeah, I, I, will, I will admit that I am fearing Midir. I will say. Just because I haven't fought him in a long while, you know? Did these guys truly spawn infinitely? I think they might just spawn here infinitely. I've always wondered if I just kind of keep killing them, if it'll, if it'll eventually stop. But I just... I kind of get impatient and I just run off. Hey, Jake. Astora Greatsword. That's where that is. Astora Greatsword's actually really good, too, isn't it? From my memory, it's a really solid weapon. I need to... Put this here. That's going to make me too fat. No, we're good. Need to make sure we have the torch on hand because the worms here. If you don't uh, burn the worms off yourself, then they cause bleed buildup. Souls 3 isn't that Elden Ring beta? Careful, you might offend someone with that statement. <laughs> you might hurt some feelers. No, it's, it is truly a great game. I'm doing well, Palaro. How are you? How are you doing? Oh. He smacked me. Hey, Michael. I came to tell you everything about how you can ace this game. Are you ready? Lay it on me, Ams. Ouch. All right, so there's those worms. Let's burn them off. There we go. Wasn't there more items around here? I swear I'm missing something. I 
I do Zigward's quest for Yorm. I mean, if I can remember as things go on, sure. I know that uh, we have to find patches. Where is patches in this game? I can't recall. Where do we find patches? You mother bitch. Ay ya. Ah, oh, dude. These hitboxes are killing me. Patches inside the cathedral? Okay. Well, I'm glad I went this way then. Because I know that we have to find patches, and then after that, I'm pretty sure that is when Patches and Ziegvert have their thing. We have to go back to the well. Interact there. This is what I'm looking for right here. Oh! Doesn't something spawn here? Now, I know Executioner's Greatsword is good because I've used that before, too. I think I'm just wasting so much time killing each and every one of these. Excuse me, sirs. Excuse me. Coming through. And this guy's gonna become the, the guy. Unless we murder him. Just bonking away. What's up, Nick? Exclamation mark specs, solvable swine. Hope you're doing well. Alright. That guy. Okay, well, um... I'm definitely doing a lot of damage. This weapon's only plus two. I think, does this weapon go to plus five or plus ten? What's up, Coco? Created by Dark Spirit Frayed Blade? That's a player, isn't it? Oh, I can't believe those are hitting me. I hate the peer-to-peer -peer connection so much, dude. Oof. 
This is so lame. God. That delay is so frustrating. But hey, we got him. Peer-to-peer -peer connections in PvP are garbage. I've said it a million times, and I'll say it one million and one times. Garbage. Please never do it again, FromSoft. Either dedicate servers, or don't. That is all. Hey, Emmer. Hey, Retro. If weapons are not good at all in PvP and DS3, yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Considering peer to peer connection, it's just very much easier to witness the tell for the swing. I'm not surprised by that. Hey, Claire. Alright, let's circle around here. We descend. I forgot to put my game in offline mode again today. Annoying. Can I do that from inside the game? Like, or do I have to go back to the main screen? Oh god, is this guy coming up? How do I go offline mode? Any knowers? Matchmaking off? Is that how I do it? Launch setting, play offline. Because I do not want a PvP. I hate the PvP in these games so much. I have to quit, don't I? That's fine. What's up, Mr. Nate? How's it going, dude? Is Blasphemous better than Elden Ring? I don't think so, but I've never played it. I don't see people talking about Blasphemous the same way they do Elden Ring. There we go. Much better. I don't mean to sound salty. I mean, I can't. it can't even be translated as salty because I won the fight. It's more like... I just don't like PvP in these games because the peer-to-peer -peer connection is so frustrating. I, ju I just never have enjoyed it since day one. What's up, Uniman? Cole, have a good day, dude. Alright, we need three more Titanite scales for another level up on this. Isn't there another one of these guys real close by, too? Grinding Monster Hunter, actually loving love the farm for these games. Nice, dude. Monster Hunter is so good. After we do this, maybe we'll do a little Monster Hunter before the next game comes out which is on the 21st or some shit I think yeah Sid this is a new game brand new character I just started yesterday what's up Pendrax how you doing dude DS3 PvP lasts for a good 30 seconds or 10 minutes yeah there's not a whole lot of in between
The old poison bite. Very good. Today be in. Hey, Cassandra. Hello. Hey, Swapna Neil. Take this, thank you very much. Jake, hope you're doing well. Michael G as well. Hello there, dude. Hey, Bob. Currently fighting Sister Frida with Dagger, Perry, Bill, and it's quite a pain. Yeah, I've done that too, man. It's a pain in the ass, but it is insanely gratifying when you do it, when you pull it off. Oh, I hate that that missed. See do hello hey uh does anyone know if you use fire against these guys does it does it like do extra damage I, I remember using pyromancy here and i'm i'm imaging them in my mind when i hit them with a fireball they would like roll around for a moment much like the hands do in elden ring is that what they do here or am i misremembering that yo what up t bradley how have you been dude Elden Ring is my first Souls game. Should I try DS3? Just wait for Elden Ring to see. Dude, you should definitely play uh, DS3. Definitely try DS3. It's a good time. If you enjoy Elden Ring, I, th I feel like there's a very high chance you'll like DS3 as well. Especially if you go in blind. Just don't even look up any guides or anything for it. Just play the game. You know? Just play the game. Discover what it has going on. Embrace it. Enjoy it. You know? It's not open world like Elden Ring is, but it still offers a shitload of exploration. So much so much cool things to find out there in the world. Hey, Vova. Oh, we already got that. I think we've got everything down here. I think we got it all. Does water reduce fire damage? I don't know. I know fire disables the, the maggots after they hit you. Yeah. That's why, I, that's why I'm... I, like, once I pulled out the torch to burn them off of me before it caused the bleed, it's when I it was, like, triggered that memory. But I can't remember if that's the way of it or not. What's up, Stefan? Yeah, that's why I have the torch in my offhand specifically for those guys. A lot of Elden Ring mechanics came from DS3. Yep. True and real. Did I go up here? I did. I grabbed that item. I'm just double checking everything before I continue on. I think we're good to go, though. Ugh, I'm sorry about that, Cassandra. Hopefully things can get straightened out. That's no good. I still have five uses of my flask, so I'm not going to sit at the bonfire. I'm just going to go. Got everything down there. Got everything on the way up. I think we have everything. Hey, Robin. Is there an item over here? Some rusted coins. Ah. I hate when that jump is just short. They disabled my healing. Gorgeous. All right, I forgot that guy climbs up. Oh, I don't want to fight him on this, so let's just run up here. There's going to be those imp guys up here too. That guy's going to blow himself up. It's going to be great. Sick. Now, I know there's a few of those imp guys up here that ambush you, so hopefully we don't get hit too many times by them. There's one there. 
Come on down. Oh, one appeared behind me over there. Yeah, there you are. Okay. All right, dude. Luckily, I can deliver the big bonk of truth and justice to their foreheads. Thrall axe, huh? Whoa! Whoa! I've seen very little Dark Souls gameplay, just the Elden Ring stuff. But I'm glad to have you here to show you some of the Dark Souls stuff, because this stuff is good too. Elden Ring wouldn't be able to exist in the format that it does without these games. So I always, uh, you know, I have a deep appreciation for them because of that concept. Taking way too many hits. You can get by the explosion too. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. I can't heal right now because of this effect. You know this is this same anti-healing effect does exist in Elden Ring as well. The winged scythe applies it. Specifically, the Ash of War. I don't know if um, any other weapons in the game do apply it, but I know for sure the Winged Scythe does. Only have one heal left. I don't think I'm going to survive this uh, path here. Taking a lot of hits. I yep. I forgot you guys were there. Hello, dudes. Right, let's get to the open area so I don't hit the wall here. Alright, come over here. Oh, this guy. Oh, just backed up enough. Gonna be some of these imp dudes in here. Yep. The twofer. All right, we take those. Another hanging on the ceiling with a flamberge. Another up there with the axe. Do they wait for me to actually walk all the way in to grab the item? Well, not completely. It's insane how many of those guys are in a small area. Five of them right there. That is nuts. Hey, Mythic Blue. Hey, Ludo Zeal. Hey, Red Guard. What's this build called? Um, Bonkinator. Or, if you would rather, the Big Stick. The big stick. Hey, Benino, what up? I think frozen mist ash on a great mace could make your hammer an Elden Ring? Yeah, absolutely. Hold on, does frozen mist actually apply the freeze effect to the weapon, though? If not, then just go frozen armaments. Ooh. It does? Okay, yeah. Holy! 
you know, we're actually getting kind of close to uh, the bonfire. Lothric Castle versus Landale. Do you like one more than the other? Yeah, I like Lothric Castle more than Landale for sure. Not to say that Landale's bad though. Landale's great. I just like Lothric Castle more. Twenty-two souls, holy! Yeah, not not all, not too many souls at once, please. You're gonna, you're really gonna devalue how like the overall area there. You gotta relax. Oh. oh sorry about your table. Sorry about your table. I just need to get. Is that the shortcut I'm looking for? This is where the giant is. If I remember right, this should take me down to the side where there's an openable door back to the bonfire. Where am I? Yes, right here. Perfect. This is what I want. Hey, Sayanda, how you doing? This is what I want right here. Please. What's up, Devanus? Am I looking forward to Windblown, the game by the Dead Cells, Dead Cells creators? I am. Does that game have a release date? I can't remember. Looking forward to that game, though. It looks sick. Steam Screamer Chaos playing Dark Souls 3 and <laughs> Jush, and we're going offline. <laughs> I just hate the PvP in these games so much, dude. It's just so anti-fun to me. I don't I don't know if that's a weird take or not, but I just I just so f it lacks enjoyment. Little early. Oh, he goes for two there. My bad. Rip the giant. Yo, can we talk about the Arch Thrones mod for a second? In this exact spot right here, they put a Winter Lantern. Granted, it's like a modded Winter Lantern, but the, the Winter Lantern, all the same. They put one right here. <laughs> Lloyd Sword Ring. What's this? Attack on HP is full. Well, I can't keep my HP full right now, so I don't think that's going to help me too much. Hey, Dano. You recommend doing Cathedral before Farron? Um, honestly, I don't know. I don't know the game well enough to really suggest the order of operations. I did Farron already yesterday, and instead of moving forward to Karthus, I'm jumping over here to do this stuff, and then Karthus afterward. I don't know if there's a better order of operations here. Come on down, Imp Man.
Hmm, the slime never got alerted. Interesting. Big bonk. Still trying to decide whether I want to do this exact part or Farron. There are two more. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. I remembered. Do, do, do. What up, Gizmo? I feel like streaming is such an unfair job. I see so many bad YouTubers with millions of followers that have 20% of the joy and entertainment you have. So keep working hard because soon you'll be a goat. I mean, the thing is, when it comes to content, I mean, there's just things that people enjoy. And oftentimes as well, when it comes to content as well, it's a matter of people stick to what they know, right? And most of the time, large majority of the time, most people that are looking around for content aren't exactly looking for new people to watch. They're just looking for something similar to what they already do enjoy, right? And so it's just a matter of falling in place at the right time to get that, to garner that viewership. Ouch. I just realized this is not Elden Ring. You cannot jump down like that. It's my bad. Um, but yeah, I mean... On one hand, I want to say there's a certain luck of it all, but I, th I think a lot of it is, too, just, like, right time, right game, right place type deal, and then just delivering quality content. This is a mimic. You know, I should have used the, uh, the charm thing. I always forget they exist until it's too late. Hey, Colton. How you doing, Gizmo? This is why I'm always asking that people, like, leave likes on my videos and stuff, because that just helps me get recommended more, and so that way more people can discover me, whether it's, you know, on accident or not. Oof, too early. Oof, too early again. Every time I dodge this guy, it's too early. Not what I wanted to do. Luckily, they don't have a lot of health. Otherwise, that would be damning. It's the room with the big freaking spider thing. This is the room with the big spider thing, right? I'm taking the bait. Yep, there you are. Dude, everything in this game has, like, no health. I'm telling you, everything in this game is so weak. It's crazy. Everything has such low health, health bars. Low, low HP pools. Hey, Pricey, hope you're doing well. That's a serious hammer. Yeah, I know, but it's just, like, the scaling is so different than Elden Ring. Like, if I were to compare what I have right now in Elden Ring, it's like using, like, a, a plus five, um, what's it called? Bloodhound sword. Bloodhound fang. In, uh, in, uh, the beginning area. Limgrave. It's just like the scaling here is insane. Haven't tried Elden Ring, can't afford it. Can't believe it's 60 bucks still. Yeah, Elden Ring is going to hold on to its value for a long time. It does go on sale, though, every so often.
That was a better takedown that time. Excuse me? Yeah, this is Vort's Great Hammer. Ooh, they got the poison darts out now. I just cut down on this annoyance. Ooh, it's all goopy in here. What do you do, actually? Does this have... Is there anything that I can use? I, I Do I need to actually be able to wield it in order to actually use the quick step on it? No, I, um, I, I, my new stream, that words, I've been going live at three, the last like four or five streams. I decided I want to go live about an hour earlier instead of going live at four. That's why I've been doing that. It's very intentional. What happens when I run out of mana? Well, I could still do it. Very good. Whoa! I can't remember if I can outright open this door if I need to pull a lever somewhere. I can just outright open it. I mean, Dark Souls games always have that dark appeal to them, Barch. Dark environments, it is... <laughs> it is literally dark fantasy, right? The Saint Bident. A homeward bone. Hey, Clapper. Ah, Lothric. I don't actually know if that's Lothric or not. It just kind of looks like it from here. I'm assuming big castle on the on the top of the mountain would be it, right? Or fortress, rather. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? I have 42,000 souls. I should probably go spend those, huh? What? Do oh, this raises the bridge. That's right. The bridge slash gates. So I think that one is useless, right? That one doesn't actually do anything for me. I can't remember. Either way, I have to... I'm going to kill all the slimes here because the slimes here are very, very annoying. You see? You see what I mean? The skill uh, is kind of like an endure, or just makes you uh, very poise heavy. Does fire do more? I'm sure fire does do more, but. Hey. 
your favorite Dark Souls game? One, two, or three? Three. I would order them with three, one, two. More slimes over there. Oi! Come here! Two is trash. I mean, comparatively to one and three, I don't think it's as good. But I don't. I, I wouldn't call it trash. It does have its uh, level of enjoyment for me. Granted, a lot of it could just be the nostalgic feel of playing the game too. But no, Devina said that that changed it as well. But also, I moved my stream up an hour too. Love Dark Souls 1 on Elder Ring graphics and engine. It would be interesting to see some remakes for that. Yeah. I think a Souls 1 remake would be pretty tight. Give it the same treatment that Blue Point did for Demon Souls. Who knows? Maybe that's part of the plan after all. I don't know. I'd love that, though. I would. Yeah, the slimes are tougher than the giant. And they remaster. They remaster it, but remasters are not remakes, right? They are quite different. Think of a remaster as just like upgrading the render quality of the entire game giving us like you know as many textures as possible based on what the engine that's already there can handle and then a remake is rebuilding the entire game from the ground up graphics mechanics everything smoothing everything out it's just like rebuilding the entire idea I just don't feel comfortable to hitting those guys. That seems so weird to me. I know you're like sleeping, but you know, it had to be done. Thanks for the sword, idiot. Me doing this remake shit to Bloodborne because the proper remaster. <laughs> I would like a remaster or a remake for Bloodborne, but I will be honest, I kind of hope at this point they go for a full on remake. But I would settle for a remaster, I wouldn't complain, I would accept it. Anything hanging out over here? Nor. Make it on P make it available on PC, yeah. Also the dream. What are these? Oh, summons. Uh what boss is this? Is this Deacons? Leave a like on the video for the Deacon fight, okay? Going in with almost 50,000 runes. Souls, rather. Hey! Dude, I am dodging everything so early today.
Insane boss. Insane boss, dude. What level am I? I don't even know. I am level 39 right now. Is there anything else in this room? I don't think so, right? It's just kind of a... Kind of a dead end. Yeah. Alright, let me go take these things back and use them. We have more exploring to do here. Hello, everyone. I know I have a undead bone shard. Pretty sure, anyway. Yup. And I think I have some of these Estus things, too. Hey, Mike. 10 out of 10 boss fight, Elgernon. Yeah, best boss fight in the game, dude. That is what needs. Oh, I don't have any. I thought I did. I only have one Titanite scale. I need three more. What do the bone shards do? They increase the effectiveness of the healing of your Estus flask. Ah, well met. Very How important well items. I've got enough. Let me just buy that just so I have it. I don't, know. I don't know if we end up finding one, but if we do, it's kind of whatever. It's fine. It's A-OK. -okay. Welcome, I'll speak. Very well. Then touch, take now. Need more stamina, dude. What a sick joke. Asking us to be talking. <laughs> All good. What is oh, the answer? Yep. And it will if you you I don't. The sort of gate in the pipe. You see, you just gotta hear him out and then he gives you a heavy gem. Nice dude. Give Loretta's bone. What does that do? I can't remember. You know what? Screw it. Here, have, have Loretta's bone. Oh, it's asking me if I do, if I really want to do this. Does anyone know what this does? I can't remember. I have a feeling we're going to see some Elden Ring style games in the next few years. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Whenever there's a successful model of game out there, a lot of studios want to follow it up and see if they can, you know, do a twist on it. Just progresses his quest line. Just part of his quest? Okay. Heavens. She was already dead. Thank you. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as... You can keep the ring as... Now he's all sad. Goodbye. Now he's all depressed. Ah, oh, there you are, Uncle. I wished for trust as proper. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here with this. <laughs> well, this is fat. <laughs> Let's see what he has. Fireball, Fire Orb, Flash Sweat, Profuse Sweat, Karthus Beacon, Karthus Flame Arc, Poison Mist, Bursting Fireball, Fire Surge, Great Combustion. Great Combustion's lit, dude. No pun intended there. That spell is fun. That's basically Catch Flame. Uh, we haven't met this person yet. Hey, Poe Mamba. Oh, 
abandoned. Oh, there's the mace. Nothing else really here that I want, though. He does have the buckler. What do you mean? 13 dexterity to properly wield the buckler? <laughs> it's so weird to me. Goodbye. All right, here's Algernon's favorite person. Oh, this and I never. I... Then shall we begin? Bearer of the dark. I forgot it gives you free levels. Be safe. Oh no, going hollow. Hey, someone's got to do it. Hello again. I have for I I a blessing. If you bless. Hello. We spoke with Angra. We have the man to live all the pens. All the pens. All the pens. Now we should find them elsewhere, right? Levels, but at what cost? Fucker has the dex requirement in Elden Ring, but it still works. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go back to Deacons and explore from here. I know there's a way we can go up higher. I just got to figure that out. What's up, Robert? We can go higher. Just realizing how large my health bar is on the screen. Isn't there like an elevator in this room somewhere? Why am I not seeing it? I, I could have sworn there was an elevator here. Or maybe that's Pontiff's room? I can't remember. Stab me with a cross? That's messed up. <laughs> ah, here we are. Here's what I was thinking of. Aha. That's what you get for crossing him. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> mm hmm. That's the front door, dude. There we are. There's Siegvard. Hey, bud. Sane. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Sure, Siegvard. Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. I love that he actually picked up Siegvard's mannerisms. If you guys don't know, that's actually patches. Well, did you just hold your. I know, I know. Hmm. Well, did you just find out? Hmm. 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 What up, Tom? Patches is a scumbag. Agreed. I wonder if I'm going to suddenly get kicked off of this. Oh my, what, whatever, whatever would I do if I were to get booted off the bridge? Oh no. What is happening? <laughs> Shame on you. Well, say hello to the 
nice giant. He adores visitors. You know what's great? You know what's great, Patches? I killed both giants, buddy. Where's the old giant? Huh? Where'd he go? Where's the bloody giant? How dare you? Have you no shame? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Patches, you silly bastard. Exactly. You silly man. What do you think this is? Amateur hour? Come on, whoa. You should know me better than this. You know what I need to do now is I need to go out of the front area. Um, 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 How do I get there from here easily? Oh, this guy dropped an item. Please be your big sword. No? All right. I tried. I guess I can just take a sight of grace or a bonfire rather. Turn up your brightness, then, Devanus. You'll be fine, dude. You'll be all right. Already got it, did I? And I not even realize. Do 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 do. I took the wrong thing, but it's fine. Siegbert! Anyone there? Anyone at all? It's me! Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? Yeah, Patches pushed uh, Siegbert down the well and took his armor. Yeah, Patches does have a quest line in Elden Ring as well. It's how you get the, uh, the fire whip. I haven't seen it. Oh, not to worry. Great planning begets great fortune. An old terror of the Knights of Catalina. And I am a master planner. Uh -uh. Me? I... Alright. Now, let's go get patches. Let's go murderate that guy. Murder him so hard he dies to death. Get the armor back. Um, 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 is it best to go from the other spot? Yeah. Yeah, the armor makes Patch's head look tiny. Even though it was a big giant jerkwad. I said it. I said what I said. I did a curse. I said jerkwad. Ah, oh, fireball.
you have to buy it, do you? What's the cost on it? Wish there was lore on how Patches got to the lands between. I think the lore ultimately comes down to he is Patches. He is a multi-universe entity. He uh, travels from FromSoft game to FromSoft game. And that's pretty much the extent of it. Did I not raise the thing? I could have sworn I did. I pulled the lever, didn't I? I did. Why is it down again? Oh, you know it's a different one. That's why, you stupid. You stupid idiot. Um... Where is the lever for that one? Those footsteps are below, but they sound above. Spider Patches is the best version? Yeah, that's the version of Patches in uh, Bloodborne. Get there from the rafters. Oh. Gotta remember how to get there. No, I don't I don't mind. I'm asking for backseating a lot in this. Hey, this is not my first time playing. As long as you're not telling me, hey, use this weapon instead, stuff like that. Like if you're if I don't know something and you're guiding me along, that's totally fine. I don't care. I played this game several times before. It's just been a while, so I don't recall. Use MLGS. Use Banhammer on yourself. It's super effective. Mm. Would you like to see Dark Souls 4 set in a new painted world? Could also explore the deep more. I mean, that would be cool, but I'm pretty sure Miyazaki has said that Dark Souls is done, right? I'm, I'm fairly certain he said this universe is finished. So it's cool. Like, I would love more Dark Souls myself, too, but I don't think there will be any more. Bloodborne 2? Tomorrow. It's official, folks. Bloodborne 2 is tomorrow. Is this something I've already been to? It is not. I have not been here yet. I know where that is. I know where that goes. I think this so so just opens the other door, doesn't it? Yeah. Hold up. Whoa, wait, what? Yeah, dude. Bloodborne 2 tomorrow. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? Now, if I remember right, this elevator goes all the way up top, which will lead me to the rafters, right? Yeah. 
Yes. I do remember, right? Very good. Have you died yet today? I don't think so. Have I? Have I died today? I don't think so. <laughs> you know, it's such a casual playthrough that I'm not even counting deaths or anything. I don't think I have. The Deep Ring. Okay, dude. Can I just, like, think for a minute, game? Can I just, like, maybe look at my items that I just picked up? Or is that just not allowed? Okay. Be gone. I'm gonna hide in here for a minute. My little cubby. What was that ring? Deep Ring. Deep. Very Deep Ring. A two minute additional spells. Okay. We're not that deep. We're not that deep. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Oh, never mind. And now we go. Now we got you. Okay. There's an item down here. Part was kind of annoying. I feel like yeah, this this part does have a certain like annoying memory to it. I agree. It's not so bad now, though. Like, now that I'm really looking at it, it's... It's really not bad. You see, the enemies take themselves out, you know? The enemies do the work for you. I missed. Bonk. Someone dropped an item back here. Hold on. Let me go get that. Let me get that. These enemies that carry the um, the Thrall Axe and the Flamberge, do they drop the Flamberge as well? The ones that wield it specifically? Or do I get it from somewhere else pre-designated? Oh, see, this guy's just trying to bait. Messed up, dude. We got Crossbow Guy over there being a jerk. Okay, dude. I didn't mean to kick that time. Apparently my poise is heavy enough or, you know, large enough to just kind of stand through that attack. I don't remember if there are items over here or not. Ah, too early. There is an item over here. Next to a big sword guy. Alright, come here. I'm gonna parry you, big sword man. Or at least try. No kicking. Hey, the parry didn't work. Okay, bro. Relax. I just want to parry you. Thank you. It was a little late, but uh, we got him. Blessed gem. Blessed be the gem. But it's the same model as the annoying stone imps in Elden Ring? They sure are. Hey, 
Hey, Mythic Blue, thank you for watching on Twitch site as well. What's up, Steve? Forgot to update my alarm to the new time. <laughs> sliding in, <laughs> sliding in like a creep into your DMs, but I made it. Hope everyone's well. Hope you're doing well too, man. Yep, 3 p.m. Eastern is the new start time. All right, I do have to kill this guy to get over there. Weird jerk. Oh! No! Oh, you know what? Actually, yes. Thank you. I'm telling you, man, the enemies take care of business for you. You don't even have to do any work. They're just like, you know what, dude? Why don't you jump down there? Even the enemies are backseating in this game. What the hell? You bastard. Y yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You know who I am. Oh, oh, yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But, but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. <laughs> Look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is the untidy mess. <laughs> Early today? No. A Josh, a Josh goes live exactly when he intends to. My new start, start time is 3 p.m. Eastern time. It wasn't me, but, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. <laughs> you should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. Yeah, is Marex, yep. To start one hour ago? One hour ago is 3 p.m. Eastern. I tried to re-up my Twitch sub with an iTunes card. iTunes isn't getting my credit card as they've robbed me blind in the past, but I couldn't. Sorry about that. And eh, that's okay. I appreciate you trying, Mythic Blue. Okay, so we need 15k total to get this armor set. I have currently 95.60, so I'm about 5,500 short. Let's say you we sell Soul of the Blood Wolf for it. Or a stray demon. I won't be using them otherwise, right? Oh, do I need his pierce shield as well? I don't see his sword here. Does anyone know if I have to buy a shield as well? No? Okay. Yo, Damien, they have the $5 super chat. Off to a birthday party, love in the stream. Hey, enjoy the birthday party. Thank you for the five bones, man. I appreciate the generosity a lot. And Elgranon, thank you for gifting a sub to Mythic Blue on Twitch. Thank you very much. 69 gifted subs, by the way. That's sick. Thank you. Thank you very much, both of you. Damien and Elgranon. Thanks, good cop. Alright, that's it for conversation there. Can you kill patches? I'm sure you can. Alright, we got that shortcut. Now we need to go return this armor to uh, our boy. I can't remember if there's a... Oh, Jesus. Can't remember if there's a bonfire up this way or not.
There is. Nice. Everyone say hello to the slug woman. Alright. Before I do anything else, I gotta pee really bad, so I'm gonna go do that, guys. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, dudes. Okay, I'm back. Hate streamers that think they can go pee. What is this? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. I'm sorry, Obey. Okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not joining your covenant. I don't want to be a slug man. Not interested in sluggeries. Should just peed on the bonfire. True. Hey, Smiley, how you doing? Do 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 do. Okay, man, I've bought your armor from an evil, evil man. There you go. Hey, Gera, how's it going? Oh, my armor. My deepest gratitude. I'm Siegfried of Katarina. Salute you. With my trust. What's up, Soggy Pete? So you know, the small time window I get with a new... With a new born to relax your stream really let me escape. You're awesome. Hey, thank you for being here, Soggy Pete. I appreciate your company, man. Rejoice! No need to work with my trustees until we. <laughs> Where do we next see him? Is that it? Yorm's room? Okay, is that everything here now? I want to say that's everything here. Right before you face Pontiff? Aha. 
Aha. Welcome, Smith. Very well. Then take enough. I don't know if I have enough for a level up, but let's see. Oh, I do. Well, time to up the strength. Time for more strength uppies. Hey, Manish, how have you been? Beat cost today took me 187 attempts. I was literally shaking after beating him. Yeah, that's in the adrenaline rush, man. Hell yeah, good stuff, dude. All right, back to Karthus. Let's go. Where the hell am I? Oh, right. The skeleton ball. A very normal occurrence in this game for some reason. Skeleton wheels are here, dude. Not cool, men. Oh no, Sorig! What are you doing here? Oh no! Right, can you maybe come out of the narrow hallway? Sir, it seems you have been frostbitten. Whatever shall you do? Whatever shall you do? Night Slayer's Ring, huh? Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. Yo, Gera, thank you for five gifted members to the community. Thank you so much, man. For a big five gifted members. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Bonk. Thank you. Do, 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 do. All right, so I know we can go across the bridge. We can break the bridge, and it'll do some fun stuff. We actually have to come up here at some point for something else, but I can't remember what that is off the top of my head right now. Just missed the live yesterday, caught up on the VOD. Hey, that's cool, man. That's cool. Good to have you with us today. Whoops. Inv 
involves Astoria and the big guy. I see. Should we do a little bit of wall near? Hey, Prof, how you doing? Oh no, where am I? I'm in this dark room. What is that giant skeleton I see in the distance? Actually, I can't see it yet. There it is. Stop moving your hands. And also stop breathing this stuff that you're breathing. You're trolling me. You're actually trolling me with that right now. Yep, now I can't get that item, you bitch. Now I can. Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. He trolled me. I think I got really bad RNG on that fight. What the? What the? The skeleton ball. Hey, Clyde. Hey, Anthony. I feel like I got really bad RNG in that fight, unfortunately. That's okay. That's a okay. Hey, we got the Carthus Curved Greatsword. Hey. All right, everyone, follow me, please, if you will. <laughs> That's just fun. What's your Souls game ranking starting from Demon Souls to Elden Ring? Ah. Uh. Bloodborne, Elden Ring, DS3, DS1, DS2, Sekiro, Demon Souls, I think. Bro, you're trolling.
Oh my god. No. Okay. Okay, dude. Oh, he almost pulled me back in. Uh, I can't see. Camera. I just had such bad luck in that fight twice in a row, but this time I pulled it off. got you on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously and there's about a five second delay in the sound on both. You mean one is five seconds behind the other? That's normal. They both have different ingest speeds. They use different servers. That's that's normal. Thank you for watching on both sides, man. That's very cool of you. I was not having your jump attack. I mean, certain weapons still have a jump attack, Andrew. Running R2s often lead to jump attacks. Watch. See? See? Isn't there an item in this room somewhere? Or maybe I've just always thought there should be. <laughs> no item here okay anyway oh you know what I need to um, let me go back a little further I just kind of rushed straight to wall near here there's other stuff I can do you got any wars that can get you banned in chat I mean the same basic ones as anywhere else, sure. You say some racist shit, you're out of here. You know? Basically, if it involves any type of hatred, consider yourself gone without warning. Oh, that's gonna come back up too soon. What if I hate my father? What if I hate your father? There's a trap there, guys. Did you know? Because I didn't at the time. But I have since been enlightened. Hey, can you not throw shit?
That guy's a downright jerk. I played this many, many, many of these games. When Elden Ring dropped, I played the hell out of it. And I keep trying to get back into it. My problem is I get a little lost whether on builds or gear. Well, I mean, ultimately, when it comes to a lot of these games, there's really not a whole lot of wrong you can do as long as you're like not mixing up your stats to a point where you become pointless, right? Like, don't try to build up every damage stat, for example. Like, pick pick two and then use everything that falls into those two right everything else at that point should just be ignored We got the freaking skeleton wheels down here, man. Killing these slimes, because when the skeleton wheels get going, I don't want anything else in the way. I hate these things with a passion. Can I just rush one? I mean, yeah, I guess, kind of. Why am I here and walking? Why are there so many slimes? All right, bitch. Okay, weapon durability. See, I've never minded it because I've never felt in these games like I've been in a point where I need to worry about it. I've never really felt that squeeze, I guess. All right, the answer to the skeleton wheel is rush them before they rush you. Cool. Slime. More slimes here, too. Happens a lot in DS2. Yeah, I think it's a little more threatening in DS2. That's where we came down. I don't think there's anything else in this immediate area, right? Pretty sure that's everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, you dropped the thing. Very good. Anything on this side? I mean, just a skeleton man over there. Hey, quit throwing shit, dude. See, you can't have anything nice down here. Everything just throws shit at you. It's rude. Very rude. What's up, Biggie? Already got the stuff down there. Alright, before I go too much further, I want to go... Isn't there something more back here? I'm trying to think. I think when I came back here, I might have passed something else up. But I can't quite remember off the top of my head right now. Hello. Hello.
These guys drop a lot of Titanite shards. No, I've been over there too. Okay, so I, what I what I was seeing was that over there, which I've actually been to, I guess. I just um, mapping all this out in my head is always a pain in the ass. Where's this path? Think your trousers are on fire? Maybe. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You know what? I'm going in. Get the milk ring? Yes, I have the milk ring. I do indeed. Crabs! I forgot there's crabs here. Blood ring? Yeah, we just got the blood ring. See ya. Alright guys, hold on just a second. We killed Walnir as well, so I think from here we just, um, I don't want to go forward to the, uh, Boreal Valley area yet, but we do want to go down this ladder. That's where we want to go next. Ah, we have a champion. One has made it across. I thought I tapped, eh? I did not indeed tap, eh? I thought I did, but boy did I not. What's up, Wirehack? How you doing? Can a ghost and zombie emerge from the same body? And if the ghost up obsessed over his own zombie, is he alive again? That, I guess that depends, right? I, I guess it depends on the, like, in a real world sense, obviously doesn't really matter. If we're talking like, like a fantasy universe, I guess it depends on how that fantasy universe translates the use of souls versus the use of flesh. If a soul is required in order to actually animate a zombie, then no, because that would require splitting of a soul, unless the universe also includes the idea of splitting souls and having them used as thralls in some other sense. But that also includes the idea of splitting souls and then them both becoming lesser than what one whole soul could possibly do, right? And then, if they... If the, the flesh does not require a soul, then the answer would be yes. You can split them and have a ghost and a zombie husk, if you will. Sorry to get overly nerdy about that explanation. <laughs> he pulls out his inner Necro Geek. Yeah. Yeah, I've played Necromancer in D&D &D and uh, <laughs> this, these are questions that you have to be prepared to understand. I feel like Josh has thought about this before. I'm telling you, man. D&D. &D. <laughs> D, D makes you think of these things. It was a nerdy question. Thanks. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for, uh, what's the, what's the word? Thank you for indulging me. Oh, did you guys know? Did you guys know that you can actually get the demon and this mimic to fight each other? Did you know?
given that the demon doesn't outright kill you. Get him, Mr. Mimic! Get him! And the Mimic actually kicks ass, too. Look at that damage. The Mimic is actually insane. Yeah, the Mimic hurts me a lot, too, to be fair. Hello! The Black Blade. You know, I have never used the Black Blade in this game, but I have heard so many good things. I've never done it. Yeah, you can, you can with the skeletons as well, yep. I just think it's funny that if you actually get the Mimic, the Mimic will actually kick its ass nine times out of ten, at least in my experience. I have seen the Demon kill the Mimic too. It often just depends on, like, who gets the first couple of hits and then go from there. It's gonna be a shitload of skeletons here. Or is it just the two? No, this one's alive too. Interesting. What is the Black Blade's Ash of War? Hold? What does hold do? Oh, is it just... Yeah. Okay. Basically unsheath. We burn an ember. Hey, stand man. R1 is a slash, R2 is a... Oh, R2 is a parry? That's actually sick. I didn't realize that R2 was a parry. What does the witch's ring do? Greatly boost pyromancies. Okay. You know, let's let's try Lloyd's Lloyd's ring. Why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I? Also, I just realized I have about sixty thousand souls. I should go spend them. I think I also have a couple of ashes for you. Oh, no, just one. What does that grant us? Nothing that I want to use. Ashen one. I don't think I found any more of the things for this either. Nope. Nope. I've not seen a Titanite scale in a minute. Welcome. Very well. Then take 
35 strength. Hey guys, is there a respec in this game? I can't recall if there is. Not that I plan on doing it, but I just thought of this. Oh, you know what? I have um, the key for the tower. There is? Okay. Slug lady does that? Oh. Well, today I learned. Slug mommy? I've just never done it. You gotta crawl into bed with her? Slimy. Slimy. Do, 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 do. Well, let's see if there's anything over here. She slug slobs all over your stub knob and you're born anew. You guys ever wish you could unread something? God damn it, Patches. Why do you do this to me again, Patches? Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> you bitch. No Besides. <laughs> this guy, huh? <laughs> this guy. Always marshing my mellow. I should have went the other way for the item. Son of a bitch. Estus ring. Estus ring. I mean, yeah, I think Estus ring is better for me. I got to go back up and drop the other way. All oh, right, and this is where you would find the Uchigatana man. Also, Patches, you son of a fuck. Come here. Where am I going? Yep, the juice ring, man. The juice ring. Lift chamber key. I don't recall where that goes. Is the other other item there a firekeeper garb? I would like to get that. No oh, patches is over here too. Come here, you bastard! Ah, oh, you're alive. Now hold your horses. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Y you get these... You know what I mean. You're a lot. What do you guys think? Forgive or don't forgive? What do we think, guys? What do we think?
game reminds me of Elden Ring. It's made by the same people. That's mostly forgives. Okay, I guess we'll forgive. You guys are very, very forgiving people. His nervous laugh, dude. <laughs> I see you've made Kree Rat, the slinking rodent. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. Ah, the spell as well. <laughs> now the karma is clean. Oh, so we can see him in the DLC. I see. Gonna kick me off some other ledge, I'm sure. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to survive this, but, um... Yup. Nope. Why not forgive him and kill him? Oh. Oh. This area still confuses me. Even though Patches the Nasty makes you feel right at home throughout every DS game in Elden Ring, yeah. Classic Patches, dude. I kind of wish this would just load. Thank you. Weapon so good as my first playthrough weapon, it destroys. This is my first playthrough ever using it, actually. It is very good, yeah. I'm finding most things in this game a cakewalk with it right now. Okay, do I do I need to jump and land on that properly, or can I just roll? Or maybe even just run straight forward? I actually kind of want to try a run straight forward. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes I'm so smart. Sometimes. Saggers almost everyone? Yeah, it's insane. Where the firekeeper closed now? Is there not a firekeeper hat? Oh, you want to see my character's face? Sure. Here you go. There you go, dude. What do you guys think? What do you think? Pretty good, right? Oh, nice. You teleported this character from Elden Ring, it seems. The DLC prep one. <laughs> yeah, they kind of look a little similar, don't they? Fashion souls. True. All right, now, the other part of this upper area, that is how I'm supposed to get the stuff up above, right? But I've already gotten all that. Uh, does anyone know, is there any item specifically that I can trade at the nest for... What are the upgrade materials for this hammer? The Titanite scales? Specifically, are there any items that I can trade to get three of them? Right now. I think there are, but later in the game, I see... I have one. I need three more for the next upgrade. It would be nice to get that, but if it can't happen right now, it just can't happen right now. Ugh. Terrible. 
Oh my shit. Well, that did not go according to plan. Got a baby crow? Yes. Killed the big crystal lizard at Cemetery of Ash? Yeah. Yeah, my weapon is currently plus two. I've killed all the crystal lizards so far. I think two or three of them. I'm assuming that that's a little... Lizard guy is just, um, Clink Clink Titanite, but I'm gonna go get it. I hear Baby Crow in Game of Thrones is the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, that makes sense. What up, Deedmeister? You're a legend, Josh. Keep the good work. Thank you so much, man. I didn't sit at the site of grace. I have to do that in order to reset it. Shit, man. Avalon and Blacksmith Hammer get scales. All right. Well, I don't think I have either of those right now, so... It is what it is. It's not like my weapon isn't already really strong, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. Almost sent it right off. I gotta stop looking at chat when I'm going up those stairs, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, let's not miss this thing this time. Oh, wait, it's not here. Do I have to completely travel out of the area and then back to get that back? That's annoying. The weapon is snowing? It is. Dude, I am, I am just so bad at navigating this area. I have to quit the game, go back in. All right, I just don't care enough to do that. Okay, now let's see. Abandoned tomb. Am I where I want to be? Yes, I am. You ready for loud noises, guys? If you paid attention, you'll notice that that giant worm makes the same noise as the dragons do in Elden Ring. Chaos gem. Did it just lose its target on me for a moment there? 
weird. Ah, too early. I just have to let the Arbalest do its work. Stop missing. Very good. Very good. How does it feel to be famous? I don't think I am famous, man. I don't think I am famous. You are to me? Well, I appreciate that, dude. That's very nice. I hate these guys. Oh, damn it. Frostbite is sick. Well, that reminds me. Use an ember. Cause of better chaos from DS1? Meh. I don't really like uh, boss fights like that. I'd rather see something with some type of interactivity. Something uh, like, like just a straight up fight would be nice, you know? Straight up fight would be great. The concept of Bed of Chaos by itself is fine, but I would rather see Bed of Chaos behind, like, an actual boss fight. Weapon used in Monster Hunter. My favorite weapons to use overall are... Switch Axe, Greatsword, and Charge Blade. But I have used a little bit of everything. What he doing? <laughs>
run into Henri and Horace down here? Not yet. I believe we're supposed to fight Horace down here at some point, right? Hey, Comfort Well, how you doing? Yes, your fire orbs are very fun. Ah. Hate. Hate. It's worth it. Just go. Thank you. Yeah, those guys are annoying. Hello, friends. Hello, friend above. And thank you for 200 likes on the video, guys. Yeah, if you are enjoying your time here, much like Gara said... And Biggie said earlier, if you're enjoying your time here, you should leave a like on the video. It helps out a lot. Hello? Are you stuck? Nope, you're not stuck. You were for a moment. My first playthrough? Nah. What's up, Ken? I played this game through like five, six times. It's been a while since my last, so I'm just kind of casually playing through again. I am just kind of strong arming against those guys, aren't I? Not playing very smart. I'm just running in for the bash because I know it staggers them. frost damage buff on your weapon? Yeah, it's Vort's Great Hammer. So it comes with a frostbite built in. This is a trap. Someone's going to appear behind me, I remember. No? That must happen somewhere else. Or maybe I already killed the guys that come up behind me. I don't know. But why are you playing it? What up, Rain? <laughs> but why? But why are you playing? Didn't miss anything back here, did I? What's up, CJ? Yo, guys, reminder, um, 
Actually, let me look this up just to be sure. Uh, no Rest for the Wicked comes out soon. No Rest for the Wicked. Planned release date is April 18th. So that is in 12 days, less than two weeks. I'll be checking out No Rest for the Wicked live on stream. And then on the 26th, I believe it is, is Stellar Blade. I'll be checking Stellar Blade out as well. Looking forward to both of those games. What's it about? It's, a, it's an action RPG that has more gritty combat to it. I'm not sure what it's called, Passathon. I don't recall. Old King's Antechamber. Those guys make a fun noise. Ah. Not great. Not ideal. Why are you so crazy, man? Hey, do you have to throw shit as well? Are you not crazy enough as it is? You really just got to go all out with the crazy and just start throwing shit everywhere, too? Weird. Weird, dude. Isolith Pyromancy Tome. Very good. Very, very good. Even though I'm not doing Pyromancy. Is there another Pyromancy book down here? I think um, back out on the area with the Arbalest, there's a part of the floor we can break by baiting the Arbalest shot on it. Isn't it like a Chaos Pyromancy Tome of some kind or something? I can't remember. Something's there. Take it easy, Aaron. Am I going to cheese the worm? Define cheese the worm. Are you not supposed to kill the worm by letting the arbalest shoot it? I thought that's how it's supposed to be done. It's getting too close to it. You just like you you don't really do much damage and it just sends you flying every time you hit it and shit. Because its hitbox is weird. I always thought that was how you're supposed to kill it, right? Use the weapon arm more often. I just forget it exists, to be honest. But even so, I could only use it like, what, six, seven times before it just doesn't matter anymore? I, it's just not really intrinsic to what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, this area is pretty narrow. I keep running back and forth, trying to making sure I'm not missing anything, but... You can kill a legit, just a pain in the ass. I just... I always thought the whole idea is to lure the Arbalest shot into it. Like, I thought that was the intentional way to kill it. Otherwise, why would... Why would it even be possible, right? Like, that, I'm pretty sure that's the intended way. Everything down here is spawned again, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit this anyway. There's a sweet spot. Oh. Huh. That's news to me. I always assumed that the Arbalest was the intended way. That's the only way I've ever done it. Today I learned... But the worm is already dead anyway. It's 
why you can stay in a bonk at without getting hit. Just risky. Letting it get harpooned is chef's kiss. Yeah. I feel like it is an, like, it is an intended mechanic anyway. I'm like one damage away from one-shotting that guy. There's a nest to shard by the bonfire. Did I miss it? The bonfire was just at Bob. Let me find my way back there again. I don't see anything in here. Roll into one of the walls. Oh, interesting. There's a hidden area in here, I guess, huh? This one has a different shade to it, I think. Nope. Ah, this right here. That that one makes sense. Yeah. The one that's not covered in roots and shit. All right. Slimes everywhere. Yep. There it is. Good call, dude. But thank you, sir. that being there. Doo, doo, doo. I'm just running around making sure that I've gotten everything else. Hey. Go away. Oh yeah, this is where the knight is. I just walked into a great axe smash. Very good. Can you farm that axe from him? Hello, yes. Don't burn me. Ah, yes, that looks very pleasant down there. Very pleasant indeed. Very good. see down over there I see very bad down over there toasty down there yeah a little too toasty 
Hello, rat. Rat jam. The Lao Spider in this one, or was that Dark Souls 2? Uh, if you're talking about uh, Quilag, that's the first one. Actually, wasn't there another Lava Spider in 2 as well? Anything else cool in here? Oh, there wasn't Demon Souls. That makes sense. It has been some time. Isn't there like an upper area in here? Yeah, there is. Please, sir, no petrification. No curse, please. No curse. All right, I'm out. Oh, God damn it. I hate that jump attack they do. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I'm in danger. Oh, I'm in danger. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, I'm dead. I let them chase me into a corner. That's on me. That is on me. If you get a chance to try, to try Code Vein. It's a very good game. I have heard good things about it. It's like anime souls, right? Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Deathblade is essentially curse, yeah. Pretty much. It's weird that they didn't really pop out. Yeah, I'm aware there's an illusory wall there. I figured that out by looking down below. That's why I came back up here to begin with, but then I was being chased by a bunch of those salamander guys, you know? This is not a mimic. Isolate staff. Ah, smoke even goes behind him. 
stuck. Hitboxes, why? Ugh. Ooh, a Titanite scale. Wait, these guys... Okay, was that item on the ground already, or do they drop them? There's no way they drop Titanite scales, right? That's a, That has to be a predetermined uh, item drop there. How can you tell when they're a mimic? If the chain on the right side of the chest is facing towards you. Towards the front of the chest itself. If it's pointing backwards, it's not a mimic. Ah, uh, yes. You. Come on, buddy. Get that big old sword over here. Such outplayed. Such outplayed. You know, uh, actually, I don't think I want to go tear down that stuff up there yet. We'll come back here later. Yeah. Isn't there another path over here? Yes. This guy that's this way is actually, in my, my own history of this game anyway, a major pain in the ass. Oh, that didn't damage me. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. All right, there's the fug. The fugs. Yeah, so the lava in this game does huge damage, so I'm not going to be able to grab those items. I don't have the uh, capability of casting the sweat spells. Sag. What's up, Nox? Hey, Chitania. You know what I'm going to do from here? I'm going to Homeward Bone. couple of bone shards. And then this. Ah, just what neat. Alright, now I have two out of four needed for the next upgrade, right? Yep. Two more Titanite scales needed. Welcomes very well. Uh, should I give her the Firekeeper Soul, guys? Welcome what do you think? Speak. Should I give that to her? Then touch the cake, nourish. Play this game four times, so the first boss in the castle, then I quit. Oh. Of course, you monster. All right, fair enough. Ashen one, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. What is vitality? Uh, how much you can carry? You understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Forgive me. 
thee, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Should I heal the dark sigil? Yes, of course we should. <laughs> Fifteen six eighty two souls. I don't have that. Let's say yes anyway. Nope. All right. Farewell, Ashen. Welcome home, speak. It's a very specific number. Where do they get that number from? Thought vitality was how long you can yeah boy? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah boy. <laughs> Josh will be like, bitch, I don't pay for it. Scaling from your level? I see. I see. The vitality was HP. No, that is vigor. Maybe it's HP as well. I don't know. Your game modded for graphics? No, I have no mods on. This is strictly vanilla. Thanks, Thomas. These guys have a lot of poise. Ah, damn it, dude. I got stabbed again, dude. That guy keeps sneezing. Will you stop it? We got COVID. Stop. Have that that's dark moon loyalty is that the same thing that's not I mean yeah I mean his head hangs a lot lower than mine but <laughs> the frost maze yeah it's a uh, vort's great hammer Good old Vort. Or Borp. Borp is much more fun to say. Have I already been here? I have, I think. It looks so, so familiar. Then again, everything in this area looks familiar, so maybe it's just...
Yeah, I, okay, I have been here. So it leads to the same area. Why did I not know that? Yeah, you played this game before. <laughs> Why did I not realize that it just leads to the same area? I always thought they were separate. So... Have we done everything here then? Aside from going all the way across the bridge? And then fighting the demon? The poison! You just went in a circle again. Done everything, just demon left. Is there anything of value up by the arbalest? I do have access to that area from going across the bridge. Oh, get the hell out of here. Many people reference DS3, but Elden Ring was my first Souls game. Elden Ring was, I would say right now, because of Elden Ring, the uh, the overall player base. This might be a little bit broad of me to say, but I feel like the overall player base of Souls likes has doubled because of Elden Ring. If not even more. I don't know if that's bold of me to say, but it just just comparing how to, to how things were before Elden Ring to now. I think Elden Ring in general has brought a lot of visibility to the entire genre. Not just, you know, what From Software does, but the entire genre that they created. Or subgenre, I should say. This is like Dark Souls with Elden Ring graphics. When you actually look at Elden Ring and this game side by side, Elden Ring's graphics are much better. There is a significant amount of more, a significantly larger amount of fidelity in Elden Ring compared to this. Spicy water down there. I don't know how I didn't get hit by him, but we'll take that. Yeah, I'd say this is closer to Bloodborne than it is to Elden Ring. As far as graphics go, that is. Which Souls protagonist comes out alive in a fight if they all fought money's on torrent well yeah torrent's a spectral steed he doesn't ever truly die you can resummon him anytime you want oof dragon rider bow what's up omar Alright, I think there's more skeleton wheel guys up here, but also those assassin guys, too. I just can't remember if there's any items up here of any value. What's up, Tro? How's it going? All 
There's our skills and wheels. Remember, if we rush them, everything will be fine. Oh, bone wheel shield. Nice. What a great enemy. enemy. Everyone loves bone wheels, right? Who doesn't enjoy a nice bone wheel once in a while? I can't remember if either of them had their eyes lit up. They apparently did not. Alright, there's the assassins. Oh my god. Why did the camera lock break? <laughs> Why did that just happen? You know you played a game way too much when you come back to it years later and still know 80% of where everything is? Yeah, that I I don't remember completely everything about this game, but I like I have moments so that where I do know where certain things are. I do. Like enemies and items. All right, the arbalest has been turned off. What was even running the Arbalest? I mean, obviously there's that, like, dead giant next to it. It's not even, like, a full-grown giant compared to the ones that we saw earlier, either. But, I mean, there's, there's this guy here that's dead. What was even running this? Yeah, you know, there's this giant... Three giants here. But, again, they're smaller versions of the giants. I always thought that, uh... There would be something here that I'd have to fight, but I guess I misremember that, too. Weren't bone wheels in the earlier parts of Berserk comic? From my understanding, um, Dark Souls and Elden Ring both pull a lot of references from Dungeons and Dragons as well as Berserk. So, I, I don't know the Berserk side of things, but possibly. Right, so that's everything here. Let me go ahead and Homeward Bone. What's up, Noble Phantasm? How have you been, bud? Alright, guys. Here's the deal. I have to pee, so I'm going to go do that real quick. I have just enough souls for another level up. Very well, then take me. I'm going to go fight the Demon King. All right, guys, I will be right back. Hey, guys, it's wife. Leave your favorite emote in the chat so when he gets back it's just chaos create some chaos also don't forget to leave a like and do not tell him i was here i never touched any of his things you can't prove that i did
the hell happened? <laughs> wife came over? <laughs> it must have been wife. It must have been wife. Alright guys, I'm back. Hello there. Hello there, dude. Alright, let's go get the, um, the guy. You know the guy. You know the guy. The Demon King guy. Screamer. <laughs> Shadows lost the plot. No more peeing. Yep. As soon as I go pee, chaos ensues. What's your opinion on early access PC games to make you wish the game released faster? It depends on the game. For example, Baldur's Gate was also a game that was... Baldur's Gate 3 was en entered in early access. And as much as I wanted to play it, I hated that it wasn't early access because I just wanted to play the full game because I knew I was going to like it. What's up, Tarum? How you doing? I was a big fan of the previous Baldur's Gate games and knowing that, you know, what Larian was capable of in the past with their other games, I very much so knew that I was going to like Baldur's Gate 3. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. So that game going in early access kind of irritated me. But I, I know why they did it. They just, you know, they wanted to secure investors, and rightfully so. Oh god, I'm stuck. I can't move! I forgot he can do that. Here comes the meteors. Dude, I keep getting stuck on his legs. Those hitboxes are atrocious. Sorry, Demon King. <laughs> he said, bitch, I'm not sorry. That was a really messy fight, but whatever. The job is done. Dude, that guy's legs are such a mess hitbox-wise. They're so sticky. Guys, why are the Demon King's legs all sticky? What did he do? Why is he all sticky? Is Larry on the fence of BG4 because uh, Dungeon, I guess, with Hasbro or something? No, they're just, um, they're moving on to other projects. They said the day or the day after the Baldur's Gate 3 came out, they've already decided that they're moving on to another original IP. Which, um, you know, is fine. But if you, if you guys have played anything outside of Baldur's Gate 3 from Larian Studios, all of their games are really good. They're very good at making CRPGs. Divinity is amazing stuff. If you haven't checked out uh, Divinity, like Original Sin, go check out those games. They're really good. I last played those games before I started streaming, actually. Long time ago. Original Sin, man. It was a good game. You knew you was going to like BG3. What games would you say will go down in history? I think Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be one of the 
biggest games that'll go down in history for a long time. Uh, Elden Ring as well. I mean, Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure many people can agree, is one of those games as well. Bloodborne. Um, I, I would even dare say that Armored Core 6 is going to go down in history as one of the better, better Armored Core games, if not the best for many. That game actually was quite good. Um... I think Resident Evil 4 Remake was very high quality. I think that'll be something that people remember for years to come. Uh, let's go here. Original Sin 2 is one of the best CRPG experiences so far. Yes. Yes. What up, Pibala? How you been? Witcher 3? Yeah, I think Witcher 3 has that status for many people already. You can't forget Dolman. Yeah, but for the wrong reasons, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Irithil of the Boreal Valley. I should go spend my runes before I move forward here. Ah. Ah. Ashen one. Couldn't remember if I had ashes or not. Very well then to take me. I'm just trying to get more stamina so I can actually swing my weapon and roll and shit. Yeah, I'm doing alright, Pibala. You're recovering well? Well, that's good to hear. What are you recovering from? I don't recall if you even told me. Just some new level, never been here before? Nope, never, never been to Irithil before. Nope. Never. Bring a doll to be granted passage. Oh, shit. Hello, pupper. He's angry. Okay, nice roll. Nice roll. I'm dead. Somehow not dead. Angry and hungry. Brother. Oh my. Can I have a moment? So that's a no, huh? That's a no on the moment. Oh, Pball, I'm sorry about that, dude. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry about that, man. That's rough. Brother. God, I hate you. I I forgot how much I hate that dog. <laughs> Maybe hit back? Yeah, I was having a hard time staying alive there. Hey, Josh, consider swinging your weapon. Hello, I would like access, please. Thank you. Ever since you avoided the dog birds of Kaelid? Yeah. I hear the twinkling down there. That thing gave me like 20k runes. 
insane. Guess you don't need to see him again. Yeah, not that one specifically. Aren't there more in this game still yet? Who the hell is making that noise? Hello, first time in here, Thil. First time here. I am a first time Irithyll explorer. Ow. With an attitude like that, I don't think I'm welcome here. Stop it. Cut down in my prime. Oh no. Cut down in my prime. My mistake was trying to parry them. Shouldn't have done that. You. With the sword. And the face. All right, dude. Oh. <laughs> They're not very nice. They're not very nice. One at a time, please, perhaps, would be good, rather than two. Oh, I'm, I'm getting two anyway. Oh my god! Stop swinging! Enough is enough, man. What is wrong with these guys, huh? Absolutely rude. Come here. I'm just poising through that. I don't care. Hey, we got the Pontiff Curve Sword. Look at that. Oh yeah, those guys, I've always struggled fighting these guys. I always have. It's like, um... Tradition. Played both Dark Souls 1 and 3 and just quit the game mid-progress -pro since I got overwhelmed. Had no idea what to do or should I go there and just leaving in the end. Yeah. I, these games are all about... Like experimentation and exploration the idea is you want to go out there and just do things and if something goes down a path that you don't like or if you end up like killing off a quest then you know you just gotta figure it out these games are meant to be played through multiple times the whole idea is just go out there and figure it out what year did this release 2016 I can't believe I didn't take any damage there. That was sick. Yeah, 2016, and it holds up really well, dude.
Can I get you just like one of you at a time? No? <laughs> Cheeky little kick in there. I love doing that so much. It's just bonk, smack, smack, bonk. Oh, I'm fooling around swinging my weapon, practicing my combos, and you have to shit on me. Come on, man. Can't a guy have fun anymore? Uh oh. Alright, we're good. We're good. It's when he uses the flamethrower attack when you're trying to move up this narrow path is when it really sucks. Ooh, um, shit. Stop swinging your sword for a minute. Jesus, how do you even have the stamina to do that? Put on the tree thing, attempted to beat it without help, deemed it impossible, and failed even with help. So what about the tree thing did uh, you struggle with? Just figuring out how to damage it, or just like the overall mechanics, or what? Art in all these games is literally amazing. They truly are. The art style that they choose to go with is just great. Even if the graphics themselves for the game are not like the top tier graphics of the era, you can always rely on the games themselves to have just an irresistible art style. You know, they're always so cool. Oh, God damn it. I'm glad I recovered that. What are all the noises down here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Have this. Test the move perfectly? Truly, yeah. Doris is gnawing. And a witch tree branch. If I remember correctly, at the beginning, it was more so understanding what to actually do, but then the second phase was just living hell to me for whatever reason. So when it comes to the tree boss, everyone calls the, that boss specifically tree balls. The idea is the tree has a set of balls that you need to smash. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Just smash the balls. I'm not talking balls between its legs. It has balls between its legs in the crotch area, but also on its hands, on its feet, on its back. Those are how it how it takes damage. Just focus on those. Everything else doesn't matter. Just focus focus on avoiding the attacks. Smash that tree's balls like they've never been smashed before. That tree deserves its balls smashed. It's done some horrific things, like literally sitting on you. It's rude. Smash his balls, dude. Just smash his balls. <laughs> and that's it, man. That's it. Smash the balls equals W. <laughs> Tactical approach to lumbering. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. Oh boy, they're coming. I'm leaving. Smashes balls like it is the like and subscribe button. Yeah, dude. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are subscribed. It'd be great to have you guys here for more stuff in the future. And of course, leave a like on the video too. One of these statues I have to do something with, don't I? At some point.
Maybe I smash the statues as well? Proof of a Concord kept. You blow your mind when you work out what this place is. It is a cool thing to discover, right? Like when you're just going around and you've realized what's going on here. It is a really cool thing. And they, that's that's part of why like these games are so good, right? They just they, they always play into each other in some way, some some fashion that just makes them I mean, there's a reason why people play these games over and over again. The gameplay alone does that, but, like, if the gameplay doesn't do it for you, the lore is absolutely amazing. Granted that I'm not the type of guy that goes on my, out of my way for lore, but the gameplay, the level design, just everything all around is just so good. What's AC6? Armored Core 6. Ever done a live playthrough of AC6? I do. I have a, a, lot, a playthrough of it on my channel. I am a massive Armored Core fan, and I'll be honest, I didn't do that game justice. I should have played it more. Ah, shit balls. What's up, Jaden? You actually hit me? Mad lad. <laughs> this weapon is so good, dude. Just staggers him endlessly. Awesome, you look it up. Hope you enjoy it, dude. Never played Armored Core before. Should I, because I'm a big Souls fan, what game should I start with? They are, they're made by From Software, but they are not Souls-likes in any way, shape, or form. So going in right away, do not expect Souls-like gameplay, because it is not that. The reason I express this in such a way is because people thought it was going to be a Souls-like. And it's just like, they, they, they never were. The Armored Core games are actually older than From Software Souls Likes are. That franchise goes way back to the PS1 era before even Demon Souls was a thing. It's a uh, a mission-based game where you you put together your own mech called an Armored Core. It's very customizable. You can put whatever you want on it as you unlock more parts, and as long as it functions, then you're good to go. You go on these missions um, that tell a story. That it also has very convoluted lore. I feel like I'm forgetting something here. But if you enjoy sci-fi stuff, then I would say it's worth a look. You played Outer Wilds? I've not played Outer, Outer Wilds. Nope. It is a very good action game. I, I, The older Armored Core games are good too, but I can say that they have not aged well, unfortunately. Like that, that is... It's unfortunate, but it is the way it is, you know? They have not aged well. What's up, Adrian? Yo, P. Bala, thank you for the Twitch Prime, dude. I appreciate it loads. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dude. I feel like I'm forgetting something back there, but it's whatever. Oh, you know what? I know there's, um... I think there's an undead bone shard out behind a grave a headstone back here, right?
Ah, I did remember. Ah. Killed Pontiff? No, I've not fought Pontiff yet. You're making quick progress through the game. I, I, I think this game is just... Uh, the pacing is so much faster as far as progression goes compared to Elden Ring, in my opinion. Or Elden... I should say it like this. Elden Ring is just a much longer game. And with how used I, used I am... Oh my god. With how much I am used to Elden Ring... This game is just, I find it to be so much simpler and in a lot of ways, a lot easier too. But that's nothing new. I have always found Dark Souls 3 to be easier than Elden Ring. But I will say that that is largely because of the way that I play these games in general, right? A lot of my Elden Ring experience is just intentionally just made more difficult than it has to be. Very much so intentionally did that to myself. And there's the rafters up there. Didn't mean to fall there. Oh boy. Have you guys thought about maybe not stabbing me? I'm just saying, like, it would be really nice to not be stabbed. We can get along, right? Anyone else notice screen tearing? Um. Hold on, let me take a look. Screen tearing is possible with this capture. Uh, yeah, there's a bit in the upper quadrant every so often you know what it is is because this game runs at a solid 60 fps and my capture card the mirror mode that i have for it also runs at 60 fps it just kind of tears once in a while however if i capture it the other way it stutters a shitload because this game is a little bit older it's not used to the way that obs works when it comes to the uh the full screen projector so it just makes it stutter a lot so the trade-off is for occasional screen tearing versus the constant stuttering how's it going shattered You just love macing, don't you? I mean, who doesn't like a big giant hammer to bonk the enemies on the head with, dude, right? Who doesn't? Looks like some kind of CRT scan out. Yeah. Whenever the capture in the game itself differentiate in frames, that's when screen tearing happens. No matter how good your PC and setup is in general, it is physically impossible to have a perfect 60 FPS capture for every single frame. So the tearing is just bound to happen every so often. It's just the way it is. And that's why I usually use full screen projector because it happens way, way less that way. But the reality is, is that even then, it ain't perfect. This is not a mimic. Yorshka's spear. Hey, Shattered, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you enjoy what I do. Just thought it was your TV? No, unfortunately, it's just the way the tech works. Believe it or not, it happens in the mass majority of uh, content that people watch. It's just it happens either so quickly or it's edited out of videos or... It happens so extremely rarely that it's hard to notice it.
Once in a while, people catch it though. And with games that are a little bit older like this, there's certain just, there's just certain programs, especially if they're a little bit older, that just don't interact well with the hardware. It's just the way she goes. Bonk. Oh. Well, hello there. Constantinos, hello. What up? Died more on DS2 than all the other FromSoft games combined. It's that ADP, man, I'm telling you. That ADP stat. See, I, on my side, I have no screen tearing at all because my capture card is a pass-through where it takes the data and then sends it back out to me in its original format. So when OBS is capturing, if the OBS capture is different than the actual game capture, it just ends up with a little bit of tear every so often. But for me, I don't get screen tearing whatsoever. I have done extensive amounts of working with this shit for years. <laughs> Learned how it works all through trial and error. Alright, there's nothing else in there. And now it's time for the water bugs. Everyone loves the water bug guys, right? Fun. You'll notice it less on smaller screens, yeah. The following since your move to YouTube caught your first full playthrough of Elden Ring Daggers only? Hell yeah, man. Been with us for a couple years, if not a little longer now. Sick. Love to see him, man. That's a big old slug guy. Alright, so based on what I'm seeing, if the body is actually floating above the water, it comes back to life. Or as, you know, never actually died. But if it's below the water, it is dead. Well, this is suspicious. Just a little alcove here. Stellar Blade looks fantastic. Yeah, I, I did. I did uh, record my demo gameplay and uploaded a video. If you haven't seen my video. You don't kill the wolf at the start. It jumps you here and it's rough. Holy. I had no idea. I've always I've always killed that wolf there. I always thought you just kind of had to. Isn't there some type of uh, quest cutoff here if you go down that stairwell? Ah, I see, Shattered. I see. Yeah? Which quest is it? Can you talk to Onion Man first? Right, okay. don't go yeah well i'm not i was just curious because i like to have the knowledge i knew it was there i just couldn't remember which quest it was oh 
Oh, I didn't realize you were active too. Onion man, onion man. There's also some ashes down here, if I remember right. excrement covered ashes in my pocket dude hell yeah love that for us zigward wakey wakey eggs and bakey could get that bon bonfire down there though i have no idea excuse me oh, he looks like the michelin man yeah kind of rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Hello, Siegfried. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so I, Siegfried of Katarina, offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. Siegbro? Oh, he met force. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? Yes, I will. I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. There's the Zeke brow. To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, the profaned capital. Oh, that reminds Oops. me. I've a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> <laughs> Man just logs off, doesn't he? Like, conversation over, he just logs out right then and there. It's over. Done. Oh, yeah. I knew where I am. You think I don't remember you, bud? You think I don't know that you're that you're there? Huh? Hey dude, come here. Stop looking at the pretty woman. Come over here. Okay. Where am I? Oh, you know what? There's a couple of uh, dogs up there, I remember. Let's go upstairs first. Um, There's some item I get here. What is it? I can't remember what it is. Hello, sword guy. Come here. unlocked wait how did I get frostbitten what oh there was something in the pot there right okay wait, how the hell did I just frostbite myself Hey, 
It's Emac. No mimics here. What up, Trap Man Ash? Been a while, no hate, I respect you. I can't watch Elden Ring, I find it boring, but Dark Souls 3 I really enjoy watching. I haven't played Elden Ring in a couple of weeks, man. <laughs> but I appreciate you coming by. Uh, you will not see Elden Ring around here again, probably until the DLC. Smo's Hammer is what we get here. But I understand, man. Like, I, I get it. I was, uh, the only reason I was playing Elden Ring as long as I was because I was trying to get that Deathless run in. All bosses Deathless. Where's the dog? Pale Shade. Oh, yeah, you just show up and start casting spells there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> he tried so hard to even hit me. Mannequin claws. Hey, Bear Converse. Thanks, dude. Love the big bonk stick. Yeah, big bonk sticks are always fun. Unga bunga mode, you know? Yeah, Trap Man Ash. I understand. I, I get it. But uh, you won't see Elden Ring around here until the DLC comes out. That's the plan. Oh, come on, dude. Really? I forgot there's two more dogs. I forgot there's two more dogs, dude. Ganked, yeah. Um, shit. I didn't open up any... Shortcuts, did I? Death Throne on DLC? Nah. No, when it comes to content, there's actually this interesting thing. And uh, I guess I kind of reminded myself of this when I did the Deathless Run of Elden Ring. When you, when you do a challenge like that, it becomes the expectation. Everyone thinks that you're going to do a Deathless Run in every game that you play. Or they want you to do Deathless Runs in future games that haven't even come out yet. And I only wanted to do that with Elden Ring because it was something I wanted to do to challenge myself because there was no other games out that were coming out at the time that I wanted to play. So I wanted to do something a little bit different, right? Just to change it up. Deathless runs in general are not going to become some new thing that I do for every game, nor will I go back and do it for other games unless there's like, you know, a lull in something, like a lull in new games that I want to play. And I feel like challenging myself to that level. I very much so prefer to just kind of play new games, new experiences as they come out. Ah, shit. I'm in danger. So on one hand... On one hand, I have people that come in and say, hey, why are you not playing Elden Ring? And then there's people, on the other hand, that come in and say, Hey, I stopped watching because you were playing so much Elden Ring. And now that you're not playing Elden Ring, I'm coming back. Right? And it's like, this is like the, um... It's a very difficult thing to navigate when it comes to content. Because I like to do things to challenge myself, but if I play one game too long, it becomes the thing that people expect to happen forever. Right? When that was never the case that I wanted to do, and I expressed that when I started doing it, that it's not going to be something that I do all the time. It's just something that I wanted to do at that time. You know? It's just interesting. 
And I'm not complaining. I'm just talking out loud about the whole idea, you know? Just, just speaking out loud about it. Challenge runs are either something that people expect you to do and everything, or, or try to diminish what you accomplished. I see it happen all the time, sadly. Yeah. What up, Sutton? How you doing, man? And again, I'm not complaining about it, because obviously I am, I am able to, you know, go live and still have a lot of people here, and I think that's sick. It's just an observation that, you know, I've seen happen lots over time. lot of runes in my pocket I'm realizing where does this take me I'm just happy you don't have to edit commands anymore after deaths <laughs> true all right that goes back up here I see isn't there another shortcut the other way too I know there's the uh, scythe person up here that is very scary to fight. I'm not going to go into the fight yet, though, because I have a lot of runes on me. Or, sorry, souls. All right, before we go down there and grab that, let me clear this room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dude. I must have been out of stamina or something. I couldn't roll. There you go. This should lead down to that same platform with the item on it, right? Yes. Never please everyone. All your content is great. Watching my opinion. Yeah, and I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm again. I'm not complaining. I, it's just, it's just an observation. Like it, it, my my overall idea behind this observation is yes, exactly that. I will never be able to please everyone, no matter what I do. And even now, there's people. There's people even now that don't realize I've not played Elden Ring in a while at this point. People people are still logging into YouTube looking for content to watch and still think that I'm playing Elden Ring. Which again, leads me back around into a circle of asking you to leave a like on the video so that way YouTube will promote my content to more people, including people that have been here before, so that way they can see that I'm not playing Elden Ring again. Oh, you're still here, you son of a bitch. They're still there. Scythe person came down here. Charge him. Can you get that scythe from them? Is it like an Irithyll scythe? Irithyll scythe? Oh my god, dude. You got... <laughs> I said Irithyll scythe. <laughs> 
dyslexic moment, I guess. Irisil Fife. Very good. Who is this summon? Who are you? Who are you? I see that item down there. Before I jump down and grab that, let me open up the shortcut here. Okay, bro. Go away. See what you mean this game is not forgiving? Nope. It is not indeed. Five minutes into the game, people, why aren't you playing Elden Ring? Then want to know <laughs> how this new game stacks up the Elden Ring? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, it's like, it's just a matter of everyone has their own perspective. Everyone has their, like, everyone is playing life from their own first person perspective. So when they come into a channel or come into my channel specifically and ask that question, they don't know that I've been asked that already a bunch, you know, it's just how it is. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. What does that mean? Greatly boost miracles. Good thing I'm using miracles, huh? Hey, I gotta go. Don't hurt me. Ooh, fire. Okay, I feel like I have missed a bunch of stuff. I know there's the path that goes down towards the other area. I think I'm going to backtrack and maybe try to get that. Since I just cleared a lot of stuff anyway. Should be able to be pretty easy to get, right? so clean in here it's so clean and then you walk down here and you realize no it's actually not clean it's not clean at all soup I hope you guys I hope you guys understand what I mean by all that it's uh I guess I just kind of enjoy talking about it, too, because it's like, while everyone has their own perspectives, when it comes to content and everything, I have my own, obviously, especially when it comes to running my channel. I just like to share that every so often. And I hope it doesn't sound complainy, because I am not complaining. It's just observations, and then my own thoughts on it. Alright, here's this. I did find an undead bone shard, right? But not two. I did get some poop covered ashes. I did. Ah, she said. Ah. Hey guys, who sells the buckler? I can't remember. Ashen one. Is it Grey Rats? 
Right. Just what neat. Pretty big. I want to say it's Grey Rat that does. Heavens. 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 Oh, he won't even sell it to me now. Heavens. She was already dead. Heavens. She was already. <laughs> Damn it, dude. I should have bought the buckler earlier in the game. Fuck. Maybe if I rest, he'll. You just gotta rest or leave the area and come back? Okay. Okay. So it's just a matter of that conversation part. Papa Bless. Josh, I love you, but this game is scary. Can we just play Sims or something? Yeah, dude, I'm totally into the Sims. Sure. <laughs> Heavens. Hey. Alright, let me leave and then come back. If you're boss in DS3. I think I'm a nameless king guy. Observation is that from software likes the creepy old ladies in their games. They do. They like creepy old ladies. They also like dogs and rats. Whoop, not what I wanted to do. I killed DTS, upgraded Oleg to like plus seven or eight and let him do the work. Ah, old Oleg. Classic Oleg, dude. Help the creepy laugh too, yeah. What game is next? I know for sure that I will be playing uh, No Rest for the Wicked and Stellar Blade. No rest for the wicked comes out on the 18th, I believe. Petty thief. Well, everyone's dead or I might as well fetch some weapon. Well. Do I send him to pillage? Sure, dude. Thank you. Grey rat the thief. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Goodbye. I will leave for some time. Anything else I want to buy from you before you disappear for a while? Anything else? No, not really. Goodbye. He's going to go pillage some villages, I guess. He might not make it back this time. That's okay. I got what I wanted from him. Yo, the buckler. Welcome home, speak. Very well. Then take nourishment. We prefer physical copies, game or digital. I do buy physical. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do buy digital. But the reason that I buy digital is because I don't have the space to buy physical. I just have nowhere to put physical copies of games. Farewell, Ashen. Tell you what, we're pretty close to this other level up. I may as well just burn some souls somewhere. How much is it that I need? 19,400. That gave 100, not 50. Welcome, hot speak. Very well, then top Haken. Next play through DS2 without leveling ADP? No, I will not be playing DS2. Not interested right now.
Okay, let's go try to get Pontiff, shall we? The plan is to try to parry Pontiff. I may die a lot, that's why he spent all my runes. I want to parry the Pontiff. I went to the wrong site of grace. The hour of the... I'm sorry, the wrong bonfire. Parry or bonk Pontiff? Both. Parry then bonk. This will likely take me several tries, several attempts, but it's gonna be worth it. Go. Come here, Sullivan. Sullivan. Oh. I'm not lining this up properly. I am getting abused right now. Oh, that's parryable. What am I doing? Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got absolutely abused. I got abused. What's up, Topor? How you doing? Where am I going? There we are. Your video made me try Arch Thrones outside of the performance issues. It looks stunning. Arch Thrones is so fun, dude. So fun. It's a great conversion mod. Great overhaul mod, rather. I guess both terms work. And he sent a bill for all the pews you busted. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I need to stay lined up in front of him. I keep dodging to the side, and that's a problem. Yes! Harry won. Ah, see, I dodged to the side again. Damn it, bro. Too early on that. Too early on that as well. Yup. Yup. What's up, Louise? Hey, Frozen. Boss designs are excellent. Yeah. Dark Souls 3 has some great bosses for sure. This dude's hard to parry. He is. That's why I'm doing it. I love parrying it. I, I, I just like challenging myself, so that's what we're doing right now. I actually, um, was it my last playthrough, guys? Anyone that was here for that? That you can, I learned you can actually parry his, uh, jump dive attack. I did it on just a whim because I panicked and it actually worked out. It was crazy. Damn. 
Oh my god. Sir! <laughs> Come on, bro. Let me heal. Thank you. Ah, oh, dude, I know I can time that. I've done it before. Nope. God damn. Man just got a flawless victory on me, huh? Hey, Seraxis. I feel like I'd feel like I'd beat the game if I just got one parry on Pontiff. His easiest attack to parry is definitely his opening attack where he first lunges you. From there, it's kind of a nightmare. His standard attack where he starts with the thrust from the purple sword has a follow-up immediately after with the red one that is easy to parry as well but you have to it's like it doesn't have a tell you just have to know the combo and then parry into the combo dodged early Oh, God damn. The thing about this guy, too, is a lot of his movements are, like, very sudden. He has his tells, but they, like, it's just, it's so quick when it does happen. It's just, boom, dead. Overall, a lot of the dodging isn't bad, but because I am stubborn and I want to parry, it's going to be a little more tedious. Yo, what up, Devin? For a religious man, he sure is, he sure is violent. Also, am I correct in remembering um, that this guy was also originally designed to be the final boss at one point? Ah, damn it. Oh, he changed it up on me. Oh! Yeah, a little late on that parry, but I still got it. Too early. God damn it. Yep. What's up, Achilles? This guy created all the Knights Beasts, too. What a guy, this... This, uh... Sully Van guy. What a guy. Maybe it helps if you sing. I don't... I don't know the song well enough to sing. I will say, it's certainly no Godskin duo tune. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. This Sullivan guy. Sullivan. 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 Oh, no way that missed, bro. 
Ah. Uh, you know what? You that's fine. What's up, fun boy? You know what's uh, great about this though, as I'm getting really good at running the path back to this boss fight. <laughs> Getting real good at that. Oh, you can't, like, uh, spam block like you can in Elden Ring. Oh, yeah, you can. Why did it slow me down before? That's weird. Now it's not slowing me down. Not sure why. Dude, I keep going too early. I will parry you, sir. Okay, bro. Okay. Yeah, that's not stamina. <laughs> Need a bulldozer to parry Pontiff. <laughs> Does parry work when you don't have the set requirements? Yes. I've done it a few times already. I keep like, I can't tell on some of these attacks if I'm, I know there's some of them that I am going too early, but then there's some that are like near misses. So you can hear the little dink noise. I can't tell if I'm doing it too late or too early on those ones. Need a faster weapon? No, my weapon is not the problem here. I'm trying to parry. I'm not even swinging my weapon. I'm trying to parry. If I was just doing dodging, I could have probably been through this already. You get less parry frames though if you don't have the requirements? That I do not know. That one I went a little too late. That one gave me depression. Timing is so close. Ah, too early. Oh. 
not this again. That wide arc, buddy. You got that wide arc going. Okay, dude, I hate that lunge so much. All right, it's all or nothing now. It looks like it's nothing. <laughs> no, Nathaniel, I'm, I'm guys. I'm specifically trying to learn how to parry him. I'm not dying because like I'm trying to lose on, like a, it's a skill issue. If I were dodging, I could counterattack and slowly whittle him down just fine. I'm specifically trying to parry. Please understand that. You notice for a lot of my dodges, I am dodging okay. I could make it through this fight with it just fine, but I'm trying to parry him. Do 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 do. Awesome looks. He says, "No, I mean I've beaten this guy plenty of times before. Watch any of my what three playthroughs that I have on my channel already. I'm just trying to parry." God, that's the easiest one to hit, and I can't even get that. Sag. Is that twirl not parryable? It looks parryable. And that one baits my parry every single time. What? Damn. Hmm. Hey, I'm Ed. Thanks for joining me. Right on, Nathaniel. Sometimes he misses. It's, it's okay, because I'm missing everything. Sometimes he misses, I miss everything, you know? Enjoy your time, Whitney. Take it easy. If these stairs weren't here, I think it would be better for me, too, but it's whatever. How? Am I doing that too late or too early? I can't tell at this point. It must be too early. Screw you, man. Okay. Damn it, man. Hmm. You know, uh, there's a combo that he has that I can't really... I gotta figure out the positioning to get it, too. The one where he does a small thrust with the purple sword and then a slash with the red one right after. 
I parried that one a bunch before too, but I can't seem to get him to do it reliably. That was too early. That's not the one. That's not the one at all. He baits me with that every time. He's so good at this game. <laughs> Run away! Bonk. That one. That's the one I needed to do, and I almost parried it. Come on up here. Come on. Come on up here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, you bastard. You son of a bitch. Bonk. Finally got it. Had to take a hit for it, but I got it. Oh, I forgot about the explosion part. My bad. I almost got the parry. <laughs> okay, do something. Do something. Too early on the parry that time. A lot of healing juice. Do something. first dodge. Ah, uh, I don't know if I have the time. I don't know if I have the time to do that. Oh, he's got two different lunges. That's why. Well, I guess three different lunges.
yeah, I don't think I have the time to be able to parry that unless I get it, like, frame perfect. Oh, I thought his shadow was still with him. <laughs> but still, progress, yeah, progress. I forgot his phase two transition starts with a big explosion, too. No, I've, I've done this with the buckler plenty of times. I don't need the Cestus. I just got to figure out the timing on the lunge, that's all. All right, let's try to hit this first one. It's a very important first parry. God damn it. I missed. Okay. I think I'm seeing the difference between those two combos now. Okay, so for that combo, his uh, thrust is a little bit faster than the one previous. Damn it, dude. Crazy. Bonk. 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 Ah, dude. He input reads that. He must. What is ADP? It's adapt adaptation. Oh, camera, please. Bonk. I don't know why I tried to parry that. It wasn't lined up at all. Ah, oh, Christ. Yeah, he input reads. Yeah, so that combo that he does the uh, the 360 spin with the, the red sword, the fire sword, that is uh, the shorter thrust. So when he does that, I need to prepare for that. That's his tell, the difference there. When he's going to do the faster right-hand attack is when he does the longer thrust. What's up, Chang? To really set things off on the right foot, though, I gotta hit that first parry. Yeah, that's just, uh, it's exclusive to DS2, Red. I'd also like to hit that. Okay. Okay, dude. That's 
nearly hits me. I feel like I've regressed. Do the thing. That's not the thing I want you to do. Ow. Bro, come on. Not cool. Hey, now you're just acting on your own volition. That's messed up. You're supposed to be like the shadow. Oh, I almost got it! Jesus! Oh, I couldn't even see because the pew got in the way of the camera! Did you see that? That's cheating! That's illegal! Things you love to see. Okay, well, I messed that up. So it's the longer one that we want to parry. Noted. Missed it. That's the one, though. Also, the right the the right hand long parry, not the <laughs> the, the short hand parry there. The pew, yeah, not the pube, the pew. Yeah, the pube got in the way, dude. Hate it when the pubes get in the way, you know? the right attack. I wonder if there's a way to bait out that attack. Like, do I need to be at a certain range? Unfortunate. I want that parry kill so bad. The crazy thing is, is I think if I hit that first parry, it would have been that, that would have been the run.
It's crazy. He doesn't even have that much health, too. If I were just to, like, dodge an attack, he'd be dead already. <laughs> but I'm so stubborn. I need the parries. We gotta hit that first one. It's so important. Just kill me. That's just. I'm just kidding. Don't kill me. Had a feeling the lunge was coming. Don't you dare lunge again, you bastard. Alright, good man. Good man. Oh! Too early. Again, guys. Bonk. See, I've got the timing for that parry down, but it's I, I have a hard time lining it up. That was terrible. You gonna lunge? Yep. Bitch. Oh, I have one HP. Look at that. Should I dodge backwards on that, maybe? Bro, I constantly do that. I see, like, the little um, change in his motion. I think the sword's coming down. Right. Bonk. Yeah, I gotta dodge backwards on that, I think. It's the only way. Alright. Sullivan clapped my cheeks so hard back in the day. He's clapping my cheeks hard right now. What's up, Brezzy? How you doing, dude? Yeah, the parry is difficult, but... I can do it. I've done it already. It's just... Ugh. Let's uh, use an ember this time. Get a little more health going. I gotta hit that first parry. It's a game changer. I hate you. <laughs> Ember wasted. Yep.
If I roll forward, his hitbox makes me go around. That's what a lot of my dodges are. If I roll forward into him, his hitbox is very thin, it seems, and my character just goes around instead of just stopping at him a lot of the time. Well, let me run back the ember. The Heart of an Elden Ring? No, I just... it. It's different animations that I'm learning the timing on. Oh, screw you. It's really not bad, Dustin. The level design kind of makes it make sense. Too early that time. Oh, that was the shorter one, that's right. Bonk. Ah. Such a habit to roll forward. Ooh. Every single time. Bonk. Oh, too early. I misread that. Misread that too. <laughs> yes, again, guys, I am I am specifically trying to parry. If I was doing this normally, I'd have won the fight already, obviously, but trying to learn some new parries. Painful to watch? Don't be that guy. Is it painful to watch someone practice? Is it really that painful? <laughs> Come on, man. You're learning something new. It hurts. Can you parry the lunges he does with a purple sword? I don't think so. I've never been able to, but... All of them are like little lunges that are different timings, and I just don't like really trying that out so much. Fuck. Why can't I time that now? I just inhaled saliva. Inhaling saliva, man. Not a good feel. Yeah, the delay in the overhead attack, yeah. I tell you, man, if you want to get good at Pontiff, go fight Margit. And vice versa. All right, come here, Salivan. 
<laughs> okay, I went really early that one, and I still missed it. I do not understand the timing on that anymore. Crazy. Bonk. Ah. Oh, you can't. I thought I, but I don't think you can tw uh, parry the twirl. Maybe because it involves both swords. Maybe. Morn's helm, huh? Could it be the stairs and he's swinging over you? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've parried him on the stairs before. I've pulled it off a couple times since started starting to fight him. What's up, Abed? How you doing? Dude, oh my god. <laughs> this guy. I finally get a parry, and then he just, like, doesn't stop swinging, so I can't heal. <laughs> It's okay, though, because, like, if I can just pull off the first parry and then get him to do the other combo a couple times, that'll knock him below, like, two-thirds of his health right away. I just gotta... just gotta get it, man. I just gotta get it. That was too late. Don't lunge. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you going? That's an early phase too, huh? That's annoying me. Get it out of the way. What are we doing here? Do something. Yeah. 
Damn, that's the one I need to parry, too. Oh, get me out. Jesus. Oh no. I got hit by both. These damn pews, dude. Oh my god. Separated there, that threw me off. I'm so boned. Come on, dude. Can't parry that one. Bro, I can't see. Oh, come on, camera. Camera's the big boss here, I'm telling you. It's the camera the whole time. Ah, finally an opportunity and I botch it. See, the camera just blinked into the wall for a second there, too. Holy hell. I. Do the other launch. Thank you. No, I missed. Sag. Really sad. Okay, we got one. That's not the one I need. Dude, I botched it again. Come on. Do the big lunge again for me. Do it. Do it. Yes. No. I missed. I went too early. F 
fuck. I dodged late on the first one. Because I dodged late, I couldn't get the frames in time to pull off the parry. I just had to tank the hit. So again, if I can hit the first parry, then the third parry will kill him. So close, man. Alright, I'm gonna Ember up. Have I streamed Sekiro before? No. I've played it a couple times, but I've never streamed it. Alright, come on. Hit this first parry. You've done it before. Do it again. Bonk. Bonk. What? I can't believe I didn't get that. happening see now he's doing this combo non-stop and yet I can't seem to hit it now good god That was obscenely greedy. Wrong one, man. I need the other other one. You know what I mean? You know the other one. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, wrong way. No, I wouldn't have been able to hit that in time, unfortunately. I wanted to, but I did the right thing, I think. I am stuck. 
What am I stuck on? Oh, the switch, the lever. Classic. Have a bonk. I just needed to do that for my own sanity. I almost got it. Why are you double thrusting? Bonk for my own sanity. Classic. All right, this comes down to the wire. If I get this next parry, I win. If I don't, I lose. If I dodge everything else before then, of course, too. No! So close. So close. I, I had the partial parry. You heard the little dink. The little dink. You have to dodge the uh, the first, like the shadows lunge absolutely perfectly. Like nice and early. And it's just a nightmare to hit. No, I will not be playing Sekiro on stream. I've expressed this many, many times, guys. Sekiro is a fun game, but it offers zero replayability. It just... I would get so bored playing it again. It just doesn't offer anything new. Why not? Because it offers no replayability. <laughs> oh, early phase two again. Omega greed. cornering myself here. I don't agree, Muhammad. I played it again semi-recently. Uh, it's, I don't know. Semi-recently, I mean like eight months ago or some shit, but I just, I was bored for most of the playthrough. And that was my first time playing it since release. So my second playthrough, and I just, I was bored. I just, I just doesn't do it for me, man. Like, it's not a bad game, but it's not something I would play again. Gah. I was a little late. Who accused you of cheesing lately? I get accused of that all the time. You understand the game's mechanics, that's cheesing. Do the dive. Wrong one. Bonk. Why the delay on that? What the? If those of you guys that do enjoy it, that's fine. Do it up. It's just not me. I just don't agree. And that's the nature of gaming, man.
We all like what we like, Edmonds. What the? Oh, I lost my lock on. <laughs> Some people just can't accept that I don't like Sekiro as much as they do. And I just... That, that's weird to me, man. <laughs> Some people just can't accept it. Come on. Nope, that's not the one. I'll land a bonk, though. Oh, I can't see shit. What time is in the U.S.? 8 p.m. Give me the right attack, man. I need this parry. Oh! Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, I didn't even see that happening. Ugh. I just need one more. Do it for me. Do it. Wrong one. Why can't I hit it? That was... That was my moment. That was mom's spaghetti. Oh, shit. out camera fuck <laughs> I should have broke the lock on dude <laughs> I should have broke the lock on there I don't know if this is correct or not but for some reason I feel like the lock on on this game and the way the camera works with the lock on it's different than Elden Ring I'm doing things habitually, and it's making me roll the wrong way in those panicked moments. But of course, that could just be the pure, the pure panic talking. All right, let's do this. A very critical moment in ha in time here. Oh. Oh, come on, dude. Let me heal, you son of a bitch. He just will not stop swinging. It seems like every time I do hit that, that first parry on his lunge, it, he just is much more aggressive. Is that wrong of me to say? It just seems that way. Maybe it's coincidence. 
Whenever I do land that parry, he just doesn't stop swinging. Took that parry personally? He did. Almost had two back to back. I know, man. I know. Why can't I hit that? What is happening? Angry with myself that I'm missing these easy ass parries. Like they're right there. Thank you. You gonna do a thing or? That one's not the right one. the lunge, dude. Almost. Damn. Hey, line back up, would you? Line back up. Thank you. What's your favorite weapon class in Dark Souls 3? Uh... I don't really know. To be honest, I don't know, man. Come on. He's cornering me and I hate it. Early.
Bonk. Bonk. I gotta remember to roll forward during that or sideways. Do the lunge. Come on. Not that one. The air lunge. Oh, you son of a bitch. I thought that was it. I can't even see you. He bonked me back, he did. Bonk. Part of me just wants to go up and hit him a couple times and finish him off, but I want this parry so desperately. So I won't do that. Do it. Oh, get out of here. I don't agree. I feel like I hit that perfectly. But the game said nope. Come on. Do it. It has become personal at this point, yes. Wow, that was quick. They just look so on to me. I don't know what I'm missing there. Am I doing it slightly early? It's gotta be slightly early. You feel like that was a parry? I feel like that was a parry too. But alas, the game said, nope. Do it. Do it. You bastard, come on. He got caught on the stairs, that was weird. Oh, you mother fuck. Oh! the right one this is why <laughs> why <laughs> I feel like I was robbed of three parries there.
I feel like I was essentially robbed of three berries. I don't know, Algernon. Can someone look that up? Does not having this stat requirement mess with the parry window? Does it change the amount of parry frames? Maybe it does. Stats don't affect parry frames? Okay. So I guess not then. Bitch. Well, that's not what I wanted to see at all. Okay, let's get him. the lunge so I can at least practice it, please. Even if this isn't the win, I want to practice. Not the right one. Have a smack, though. Okay. I take that back. Don't have a smack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for I have sinned. Father, forgive me. Pontiff, forgive me. Okay, what changed? Why can't I hit that now? The setting is good for confession, yes. Why? Grab attacks, projectiles, and jump attacks can be Oh, they absolutely can't. The uh, there is a jump attack that can be parried. I've done it several times in the last little bit. It's just suddenly I'm missing it all the time. That one right there is the one that can be parried. Whew. The other two cannot be. Or at least the one with the purple sword can't be. There it is. See? See? All right, we just need one more. We got five flasks, full health. I need one more parry. Line it up. Line it up, Sullivan. Sullivan. Said, line it up. Do it. Right now. 
Right now. Now what I'm looking for, boss. Come on. Now what I'm looking for. Let's go. Also not what I'm looking for. Oh god, I'm stuck on a pew again. Yes! Get out of my face! Fuck you, Sullivan. All right, sorry, I had to get that out of my system. <laughs> okay, we got him. <laughs> Eat it, Pontiff, yeah. You shithead. All right, I'm feeling good about that now. So the timing for that was right after you dodge the first shadow, you have to not only do you have to dodge late, you have to use like the end of the roll animation. And then as soon as the other guy raises his sword to the sky, you parry because he comes down so quickly that the lineup is at that moment. And I learned that in the last fight. As soon as I saw on my second parry when he lunged and that's how I did it, the third one was a lot easier. So now I know the parry timing. The only parry that I would like to practice at this point is the initial one, but obviously he's dead, so I can't really practice that one now. I want to say that the stairs kind of mess with it, but I did learn as well when I last hit it that if I parry, when I parry, like if I'm on the stairs or just before the stairs, if I parry right when his feet leave the ground, it seems to land. However, it's, uh, you know, a difficult thing to time. And I kept doing it early. But okay, I am pleased. The amount of damage you can dish out is crazy. Yeah, so if I, again, if I were dodging, obviously that, that fight could have been ended a lot sooner. Because I, was, I do a lot of damage. But I just really wanted to hit those parries. It took a while to learn the timing, but I got it better. But okay, guys, I'm going to call it a night here. I'm going to go eat some food, hang out with wife before she has to get up for work in the morning. And I'll be back to live stream again tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time to pick up our playthrough right where we left off right here. Okay. Yo, first try, by the way. First try. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you for chilling, hanging out. Much love to you all. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other. Good night, everyone.